tomorrow I am going to be racing my bike for 12 hours straight. Yep, you heard that right. 12 hours on a mountain bike. Tomorrow, I'm taking on my first ever 12 hour solo at the 24 hours in the Enchanted Forest event in McAfee, New Mexico. Mackie will be on support crew for this one because, well, he has sense. I'm very glad I am not racing. Why a 12 hour solo? Well, in September, we'll be racing the Margie Gessick, a savage 100 miler in the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Why not have your first ever 100 mile mountain bike race be supposedly really the hardest hard. one ever? That will probably take me 13 to 14 hours. It seemed good to have a 12 hour effort in the books. So here I am, ready or ready-ish to ride this 13 mile lap over and over for 12 hours. While this course is less technical than Margie, it's still all single track, which makes it a pretty good test event. And if I complete my goal of nine laps, I'll have raced 120 miles and climbed over 8,000 feet. I have a plan, I'm prepared. How to ride your bike for 12 hours straight. And then I get hit with reality. I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. Project for this lap, don't get depressed. Yeah, I think she's hurting. I feel terrible. I'm not sure I have the skills to make this burrito into a burrito. That is not gonna burrito. Prisoner number 3187, <laughs> interrogation 1A. Stop. 7 p.m. Friday, July 19th. At least like 8 p.m. by now. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am going to be racing my bike for 12 hours straight. First question you might be having is why? The short answer is because I'm racing Margie Jessic in September, which is going to take me probably like 14 to 15 hours. It seemed good to have a 12 hour effort in the books. So this is my Margie Jessic test event. This seemed like a pretty good opportunity to do it for a couple reasons. One, it runs 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. So that will give me an opportunity to test out the light setup, see what riding in the dark when you're really tired is like. If things went well at Margie, I would not be in the dark for as long as I will be in the dark tomorrow. A couple of things that I'm doing differently for this race because it is a Margie test event. The big one is I am going to start out fast, which would not be a good strategy for this race because it's a lap race and you're all going the same place and you're gonna pass a million people no matter how fast you start. Margie is not like that. I've gotten some beta and tips from people who say that a fairly fast start will get you into single track in front of a lot of the chaos. Luckily, this is something we are pretty familiar with. It's also a Le Mans start tomorrow as well. It's a running start, which is, it is at Margie. So that's sort of another thing that makes this a good testament. So gonna go hot on the run, which is not that hot. Basically as fast as one can run in carbon sole XC shoes. Just pin it for like 20 minutes and see what happens. And then when my clock says 20 minutes, just back it way off, which is gonna be like a little hard on the ego. And I feel pretty confident that I could do a hard 20 minute effort and not like, suffer for that later in the day. I am gonna wear a pack. I probably wouldn't wear a pack if I were just doing this lap race, but A, it could be pretty hot tomorrow. And that's what I'll be doing at Margie is a pack with scratch clear and then bottles with the super high carb. So we're gonna do that. I've made a master plan. How to ride your bike for 12 hours straight. It's not what it says, but <laughs> <laughs> napkin math. We did a six hour in April and I burned 3,400 calories at the six hour. Six plus six is 12. 3,400 times two is... 6,800. Yeah, I know that, but that's not what I wrote down. So <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, okay, so I did that, got to 6,800 and then decided that I'm going to slow down for the second half. So I will burn less calories than that and settled on the like, we're gonna burn 6,000 to 6,500. But basically the goal would be to eat about 50% of that. 3,000 to 3,500 calorie range, which is a lot. 1,800 calories of scratch super high carb, which is kind of a lot. To do a pack of clear, gonna stop and refill the pack with more clear. That's 400 calories. Gonna eat some peanut butter and jelly on white bread. Gonna eat some boiled potatoes with salt. Gonna eat some potato chips. 
calculated that all up, it got me to around like 3,400 calories. And then it'll just be like whatever else I can shove in my mouth. The interesting thing is because we did this sweat testing back in December of last year. And since then we've been tracking our sweat rate. I lose like a little more than half a liter an hour at like 75 degrees doing a threshold workout. It's gonna be hotter than that tomorrow. If we assume 0.7 of a liter an hour, that's about 8.4 liters. Six bottles of super high carb and two two liter packs is 7.4 liters, close enough. So 8.4 liters times the amount that I lose of sodium in a liter, which is 1,371, is 11,516 milligrams of sodium. Um, I'm pretty sure that's like, that gives people heart attacks, generally. <laughs> that list of things I gave you earlier is 3,800 milligrams of sodium. So like a third. Yeah, this has inspired you to also drink 1,800 calories <laughs> of scratch high carb in a day. We have a discount code, Sid and Mackie. No numbers, just Sid and Mackie. Anyway, I'll put a link. Every three laps, you get potato chips, potatoes, like you have access to those I things. I think that would be good. Okay. I mean, I think it'd be good if you were over there with tools and water <laughs> on every lap. Okay, so we've got a little subplot in this video, which is that my parents and Mackie's dad and our friend Tony are doing a four-person team. And that is one of the things I really love about these lap endurance races is that everybody can kind of do their own race, but also kind of the same race. And it's very social and fun and inclusive. And I think they're gonna have a pretty good time. There was talk of not taking it seriously, but now it sounds like my dad and Tony will be riding all night. So let's see how the, how the preparations are going. Science. science, the science. Yeah. <laughs> 1630. What's the plan here? Trying to figure out who's going to ride the lap between 1800, which is six o'clock, mm -hmm. and, and dark. Um, and dark. Yeah. Team yeah. DNR. Which stands for? Do not resuscitate. <laughs> but Tony <laughs> is young enough that he wants to be resuscitated. Yeah. <laughs> so it's mostly a joke. Yeah. Mostly. <laughs> mostly. <laughs> All dressed, sunglasses, sunscreen on, getting ready to go do my warm up. Got my headphones. Definitely need some headphones for 12 hours straight of riding. Now is the perfect time to share that Shox just launched the Open Run Pro 2. This is the evolution of the Open Run Pro, which we have been using for several years racing and riding. It uses the best of bone conduction and air conduction technology to get you the best possible sound quality while still making sure that you can be aware of your surroundings. They've also increased the battery life up to 12 hours, which is really important if you're doing events like this one or other long endurance events or if you're just terrible at remembering to plug in your headphones. However, plugging them in just got easier as well as they are now USB-C compatible. And I think we can all agree that this orange colorway is fantastic. You can check them out at bit.ly slash openrunpro2. So for this first three laps, I'm going to try not to stop again, kind of simulating distance to an aid station at Margie. Basically gonna do two super high carbs and our friends, Vinny and Greg brought me these last night. I'm very excited. Haribo twin snakes, half sour, half sweet. Apparently, apparently they're amazing. I'm pretty excited. Also 90 calories in three of them, so. There's shit, Jim. Yes, it.
<laughs> Go, Renee! One more. That's where it hurt me. Pretty bad. This descent is fun and it is reviving me a little bit. Yes, it nice job. Woo -woo! Sid just came by. It is 12:01, which I'm just gonna count her times to here. Yeah, she's right there. It's probably another. She's probably gonna be looking at like a 103 first lap to the finish, which is fast. One lap. One lap. Four ish. Now we settle in because, yeah, <laughs> eleven more hours to go. She looked good coming through. She said her power meter is not working. It's, she said it was only half working, which I don't know what that means. I'm not sure we have any batteries, unfortunately, but I'm gonna go look. And then I need to make sure I have a pack for her, two bottles of super fuel, a sandwich, potentially ice in a bag. I'll have it whether or not she wants it, I'm not sure. Project for this lap, drink an entire bottle of super fuel. Don't get depressed about how much farther there is to go. I am struggling on lap three way more than I should be. So I don't know if that's about maybe need to eat more solid food earlier. What have I got? Yeah, about an hour. An hour. Okay. I would, I would go under that just to be there sure. at the right time. Come on, Sid. Nice job! Yeah! Woo woo! Nice, Sid, nice. Okay, what do you need? Plain water with ice. Cold. Plain water, not especially, sorry. Do you want ice? Over your head if you want. All right. Way to go, man. Keep it up. Do you need anything else? Which sandwiches do you want? Got it. Yeah. Just take it, take one easy. 
Yeah, those have been some pretty solid laps. Yes. Good job. That was lap three for Sid, including the uh, transition time to pick up stuff, get a different bladder in her hydration pack, eat something. That was an hour 17 lap. Very respectable still. Nice job, nice job. Thanks, 700 plus 140 is 840. That's pretty solid for three laps. That puts her at 280. That's, pre that's pretty good. That's actually quite good. So she's probably a little low on sodium, but I think she's doing okay on calories. I just took the ice pack out of my jersey and just dumped it down my front. I felt so good. Oh. Taking Matthew's advice and doing a chill. Not that my body is giving me a lot of options for much faster, but. Good. Finally, feel like I have settled into a pace that's more sustainable. Unfortunately, said pace is. Not very quick, but I think that's just what we've got today. I say, don't. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> it's so hard to tell. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so right much. On. Have a good one. your doppelganger back there who was stuck in a bush I was like was that Bob so I'm very relieved to see you here upright I don't have potato chips do you want do you want chain lube here I'll do chain lube while you eat some pickles two of those has 300 grams of sodium so oh, I just passed your dad so oh, good Ha. What's my time? What's my time? Oh, your oh, time is good. Really your time fast. is good. Nice job. Thank you. Came through at 116, quite solid. I think if she can keep that up, that'd be great. She seemed in a better place than on the previous lap. I think she maybe backed it down a little bit and there's a little bit more uh, sustainable pace. Him. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it's getting worse and worse. Come catch me. Yeah, that's <laughs> My dad's about to take over for Bob, so I don't know if he'll catch me. He might very well. Because I ain't getting faster. And this is his first lap, so it's my fifth. So we shall see. How'd it go? It went well, but it was hard. Yeah, you went fast too. I did a 142 and a half. Woo, nice. Some of those little punchy climbs though, they they took me out. Yeah. 
And I actually passed, I think, two people. All right, nice. And one, I was getting close to passing. I was so close, I couldn't see stuff, so I crashed. Oh, no. <laughs> Go for it. Thank you so much. I had five successful running cycle cross mounts. But they're getting dodgier as my legs get tireder. So it might be time to quit. See how long I can hang. Woo! Scared me. Putting a hurt on me. Oh, no, thank you. I got away from me in the climb, but we're reeling him back in. But he's got some gravity. Just get out of this stuff, it's not... It's not. Alright. Probably see you again on the next hill. Yes, in. Looking good. Nice job. Sid just came through. She ran a 110, which is six minutes faster than the last one. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice job, handshake there. Oh, yeah, Sid Schultz coming on in. She's our 24 hour solo. 18 plus female. Sid 12 hour. Come on. Nice. Sid. Come on. Nice job. Nice job. Keep on going. You want to go ahead? Uh. Well, I was like I went in there for a while, but now I am dead. Six and a half hours, 72 miles, 5,000 feet climbing. Probably a little too fast, keeping up with that on his first lap. Man, just got to make it because I have not eaten enough food. I tried to grab potatoes from Mackie, but dropped them. You're doing great, Sid. That last one was kind of terrible. Yeah. 
Any comments, Sid? I don't know why I thought this was a good idea. <laughs> don't worry, it's if gonna I get ever worse. Start talking about doing a Swap. solo 24 hour. You should have me committed. I felt really good the fourth and fifth lap, and then this last one, I think I didn't eat enough. Yeah. Yeah, your fourth and fifth were, especially your fifth, was real well, solid. Well, dead on the fifth, but... Yeah. The fourth one, I still felt pretty decent. I haven't peed yet. Should I be concerned about that? No. Yeah, you've got your lights, you've got a new GoPro battery, you've got a new... attached to my phone. Yep. Oh, get real on top of it. I can't think of any reason I can stand. <laughs> your bike's right here. Oh, you need your pack. Sorry. You got right, this, love. Good them, job. Sid. You're looking good. Go, Sid. Good job. Go, Sid. Go, Sid. All right, lap seven. Whew. That last one was rough. Definitely. Let myself get under fueled. So, nothing about a couple things. <laughs> Namely, can't go three and a half hours without solid food in a situation like this. Um, if I had a good long stop, which is rejuvenating. And now, honestly, it's getting cooler. I got an ice pack on my back, got the lights on. Probably a little, maybe a lot premature, but whatever. Um, I'm just really not gonna She's looking a little rough. Not surprising. She's now at uh let's see what would that be? 78 miles. It's pretty solid. 78 miles and uh, about seven hours. Yeah, I think she's hurting, but you know, she's doing good. Where'd go? Thank you. I uh, am very glad I am not racing. Well, I think she's doing an amazing job. Oh, but man, I know how much she's feet. I hate it when my feet do that. Wish I had some solution. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm thinking she's doing great. Okay, lap six, 18, 21. So when she left, that's an hour 30. Rough, bumpy rock sections feeling worse and worse on my butt every lap. <clears throat> Only two more times after this. Ugh. Hi, Mom. How's it going? What? In the big spot. You can ask me. How's it going? Yeah. Not, not going that much faster. Yeah, yeah. Going. You feeling good still? Yeah, it's much nicer. Job. What can I get you? Watermelon, potato, Sammy, turkey. No pork, sorry. How you doing? Okay. You're doing great. You're amazing. <laughs> you able to get more of that super fuel down? Yeah. Try if you can. I think it'll help a lot. Okay. I love you. Good job. Go, go, go. Man, what a boss. Hour 20. Solid, real solid. I think that puts her pretty comfortably for her nine laps that she's going for because 
So he's got three hours and 20 minutes to do two laps. So she can do this next one around the same or even an hour and a half. And then the last one, she's just got to make it under like an hour 50, which I have full faith. Gold's coming on in, 12 hour but solo you know female, 18 plus, coming on in right now. Taste of in your mouth. Yeah, nice job, oh. Zinn. She is our race leader. Wow. In the 12 hour solo category. <laughs> Lights are on. 100. That's 100. Okay. <laughs> it's all gravy from here on out. Cool. I am seriously considering doing some math when we get to the end of this lap and seeing if I could quit now and still win because he's not feeling so good and I feel like at this point I've kind of accomplished like definitely figured out there's some issues with my fueling strategy road 100 miles lights are working great um, in terms of a Margie test I'm not going to say it was entirely successful because I'm struggling with the high carb. I don't know if it's the heat or what. But the point of this was to learn um, not to like dig a hole that's gonna be really hard to get out of. If it's close, maybe fairly tempted to do that ninth lap, but I don't know. I'm trying to be smart with the fact that I'm Racing Breck Epic in three weeks and I want to actually get some training in. Oh, descending in the dark is actually really fun. Well, a uh, little excitement. It is currently raining fairly hard. Um, I wonder how Sid's gonna feel about that. Update, it's raining. Things can get interesting up here, I tell you so. We'll see. Watch Mackie, but I will do, and make a blend. This might be her right here. All right, keep going, keep going. Sid? Sid, yay! Do you, do you want to swap uh, lights? Do you want to call it? I mean, can I? Yeah. And still win? Uh, you were two laps ahead of five. I don't think adding hypothermia in your school series is too much. It's not. Completely reasonable. Well, the rain has helped with this decision. If you have an option to not get hypothermia in the mountains, Generally advisable to take it. And this, so I picked up my coat, gonna meander to the finish, meet Mackie over there. Apparently I was two laps up after five laps. And I definitely slowed down after that, but not two laps worth. Gonna make a good decision. And we've ridden 106.5 miles, which is my longest mountain bike ride ever. So I've absolutely, Nothing to complain about. If I have to get hypothermia and blisters and all that to finish it, I will. Um, but that's not what this event was. I know I'm justifying a little bit, but I think he used to be a, like, my toughness is my strength person. And that got me into a lot of trouble. Now we're trying to work on being tough at the right times. It's cold, getting cold fast. Yes, 
Sid Schultz. She's currently our 24-hour solo female 18-plus leader right now. You're done. Yeah. Sid Schultz, man. She made that look way too easy today. Nice Maybe job. Maybe she'll have to do 24-hour race. Oh, <laughs> that means you got a lot more riding. But not 12 hours. That's legit. Nice job, Sid Schultz. You're amazing. Oh, thank you. Um, I feel terrible. I guess that's to be expected, 10 hours of racing. Um, definitely learned a lot. I would say this didn't make me feel like eminently prepared for Margie. <laughs> Cause it kind of ended up underfueled. I just like was getting stomach pains when I tried to drink the super fuel. So that was not great, which that didn't happen at the six hour, but six hours is six hours, 10 hours is more. The more training and racing I do, the more I realize how important it is to like have a purpose in like for every workout and every race so that you know how to like make these kind of decisions. Like, should you do another lap? Should you not? And when I actually thought about it logically, I was like, okay, the purpose of this was to learn things from Margie and I have already learned those things. Like at this point I'm already paying the price for the things that are not going right. And going for another hour and a half is not going to teach me that lesson better. But you also have to have the races that you're, you know, willing to get hypothermia for. This wasn't one, no. And I should really get some warm clothes on because I'm freezing. Ramen noodles and chicken. It's clearly what you, what we need to have in the middle of Marchie. I don't know about middle. No. No, I'm not sure I could have handled this if I were, had to go do more riding. So I have to say, waking up this morning and other people are still riding. Parents team is still going. My mom's out there right now. I am very relieved to have done a 12 hour. I feel much less wrecked this year. Racing for 10 hours straight, sleeping seven hours and getting up than I did last year when I did way less laps, but tried to do a double lap in the middle of the night, which wrecked me. So pretty happy. Now we're gonna see how team DNR ends up. Poor Bob, I didn't leave him much time to finish before 11 <laughs> cutoff time. I took 155, which is my slowest lap, but in my defense, the kids race is going on and you have to come in dodging kids. I think I only left him 138 or 133 to finish and his fastest so far has been 142. So pressure on Bob, <laughs> all because I couldn't get out of bed. Okay, we're at the start finish. Uh, Bob has nine minutes to bring it home for the team. I think it's gonna be really hard. Uh, he would have had to go five minutes faster than he did yesterday. So, I don't know, but Mac, he decided to ride with him. Just give him a little encouragement. Congratulations there, here's Bob Franklin. Nice job, Bob, how you feeling? <laughs> Check this out, Bob's 79 years old, man. Let's give a good round of applause for Bob. Heck yeah, dude, he did his last lap. One hour, 33 minutes. Yeah, dude. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. That is right there. Oh, but again, three and a half minutes to get it done. Oh, oh, man. I'm so sorry. It's my fault. Oh, <laughs> oh, thank you. For the 24 hours of the <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, Smile. And it was eight laps with a 10 hour elapsed time. Where are you at? Sid Schultz. Woo! High five, good job, Sid. Eight laps. Woo! So give it up for Amanda Shannon and Sid Schultz.